All right, so let's just do brushes 101, just in case this is your very first tutorial. Anything that is going to be tapered or hanging out, so if I'm looking at the corners of the mouth, if I'm looking at these edges, I want those to be tapered. So that is why you see all of these tapered. So some of them are, especially for the mouth, it's gonna have tapers on both sides. Now other ones are gonna be stuck in here and then tapered, so then we are looking to toggle between them until we find the brush that is the one we want. So let's say that's going to be another one that's going to be fat on both ends. And I'm going to take that end. I just want to tuck that in so it fits right into the collar there. So you will notice that there is going to be quite a bit of overlapping with our lines and that's just so we don't have to worry about those edges. So the next little step makes it very very easy to clean things up. So that is why we just come in and as long as those edges are tucked in, so notice this little guy right here, you might say, wow that is picky. I just want all those corners to be tucked into each other. Alright, inside of the mouth is going to be black, but we might be able to see that one. So let's just go corner corner. That good. I'm gonna drop that down. So whenever you're doing the brushes, just see if it messes anything up. You can always drop these down, and then at the after we add our points, you can always come in and since it's still in stroke form, you might want to just say, "Hey, I want to just drop that tiny bit down." So you can always modify after the stroke comes out. Good. So I want this fed up at the top. This one is actually good. Let's go taper all. So it's, it's up here. Taper. Taper. It's a big taper. Good. That's going to get filled in. I want that to be fat then skinny. We're going to drop that down to, let's say, 0.5. I want to take this point and let's just drag it up. That's going to get filled in. Let's go fat on both ends. Good. Let's just go shift X. Then it'll get filled in. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's just go tapered on both. Now for this little one, let's drop that down to 0.5. What we're really looking for is the space. And if we need to modify how thick we have everything. And again, what I'm looking for is it to go right through that corner. All right, good. And right now we're still just working on adding brushes. You can always change the thickness later. We're just really looking to see if we need to modify any of the strokes or any of the, uh, but we're just adding on the thicknesses at this point. So what we're doing right now is just adding on the brushes and then we can always modify the thickness later. All right, this back arm is just gonna get silhouetted out. This might get silhouetted out. I'm gonna go C. So since it's still in stroke form, I can still modify. That looks good. So this is gonna go, I say fat on both ends. Let's take this white arrow, drag it over so it fits in the crease. I want it to be fat up at the top and then tapered down here. And let's just drop that down. All right, black arrow. We're gonna drop that way down. Let's go 0.5, just see how it goes. These will be tapered, 0.5. You just want those to be pretty similar. All 
All right, we're just flying. That's good. I'm gonna go fan up at the top. Taper, good. This is gonna go behind, by the way. So I want it to be fat and then skinny by the ankle. I say fat by the ankle. Good. Well, let's just go tapered. I like that. Flip it. There you go. That was it. That was easy. Oh, decisions, decision. This one was in front. Uh, 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 uh. I say we could just go taper. I think, and all that it's going to do is so this is nice and clean and we don't have to worry about it. I want this to go in front, so this is going to get fat over by the ankle there. This is going to go fat by the toes. Like I said, it's always the opposite. Always, always. Let's go fat by the toe. Good. I'm gonna go fat and then taper. More likely it's gonna get filled in, so it's not as big of a deal. So this is all gonna get silhouetted out. But just so you guys, you wanna see how it's gonna play out. All right, let's just fatten that guy up. Okay, little boogie check, let's just see. I'm gonna go shift X. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so when, especially if this is your first time, things that you are looking for is you're just double checking edges. You're double checking that all of the corners of all of your brushes are pretty well overlapped. I'm gonna say I want that one to be a little bit thicker. Eh, that one's just gonna get, this is all gonna get filled in, so that's not that big a deal. I'm just gonna tuck my brushes back in. I think we are done with those. Now this is the one that I would definitely say make sure you have that one so if you're gonna oops and not duplicate one out that's the one you want to make sure that I have that one because this is gonna basically go to expanded and more than likely we are gonna be doing our color for that one as well so we're gonna be adding our we're gonna basically start to clean everything up but we're gonna also turn everything into a shape as well so we are gonna grab that one we are gonna go object expand we're gonna do it again hit OK and for this one I'm not gonna do all of it since it's the same process what we are looking to do is um, I just want to kind of see how it plays out and all it is is we are going to I actually think that's how I want it to play out good we are looking to grab it with the black arrow I'm gonna go shift E and shift E is our eraser tool so all we are looking to do is get rid of all of these weird little overlaps at this point. So I can select on the shape, and if I want to change the size of the eraser tool, that is the bracket key, so just locate OP on your computer, and then all we are doing is erasing, I'm going to select it, and you're going to notice that it only gets rid of the line you have selected, so it's very foolproof. And if you ever try and align the edges of your brushes up, you will find out that it's much more challenging to do that than just come in and clean all of this up. So Shift E. So it's very, very quick, very brain dead. The only thing that you have to be worrying about is what do you want in front. So let's say I want this to tuck in behind him. I want this neck to go under the collar. So sometimes you do have to zoom out and just pay a little bit of attention on what you want in front of other things. Like I want this arm to go in front of the collar. That would be fine. I want this little tuft of hair to tuck in under the collar, but tuck in under the arm. This is the back shoulder. This is all going to get silhouetted out, so that's totally fine. 
So just notice that we're selecting and there's just a tiny bit of a, th a process. And if you need to zoom out so you know what everything is, that's fine. But I do think it is a little bit easier if you just come back in. Okay, so all we have is everything is in front. We're just double checking our little lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab everything. For the most part, I think we'd be okay by doing our unite everything. So we're just grabbing all of the black, by the way. Let's just make everything nice and black. I am also gonna come up to the top. Let's go object, drop down to live paint, make. And now we're just filling it in just like a coloring book for the most part. So anything that you think you want black, we're just filling that in. And usually I just fill in the dark areas I want first. And if you're not completely confident with where you want them yet, no worries. My recommendation is still to fill in all of your areas. I'm not in love with colors yet, so let's just kind of color them up. All right, good. I'm gonna do a little bit of an off-white, and then we can always come back. We can always come back and clean that up. So I would just zoom in, okay. And why we're doing off-white is just so we can see if we filled everything in. This would be a good time to go magic wand. Tolerance should be pretty low. And then I'm gonna unite all of the black. Next little thing I would do is grab all of our skin color. You can unite all of those. Now, if you're gonna change any of the colors up, so let's say bottom of the feet or something along those lines, I can always ungroup them, by the way, and I can always get those shapes back. So nothing is permanent is why we are kind of going through this. So let's just lock this guy out. So now we're going to call this one shadows. This is a very, very easy way of just adding some real basic shadows. So there's a really couple little things I want to do is I want to add in maybe a shadow under here and under the arm and then behind the leg. And I think that should probably do it. So I'm going to select the area. We're going to come over under the eraser. There's this little knife tool. And all we're going to do is just come right on through. Nice little curve. And just notice with the knife tool, we're going to go all the way shoot through. So notice that there was a big, big shape. And I'm going to go up one. Something subtle. Nothing too crazy. Let's do this one. Knife tool. Maybe it's going to drop down. Maybe there'll be a nice little tongue shape. Hold down shift. Grab both of those. Up one level. And if I want to grab these, I can unite those guys so they read together. So if I wanted to add a gradient to them, that would be something else that could be pretty fun to do. Good. Let's grab this one. Let's do our nice knife tool right on through. Hold down shift. So notice I deselect and then come on back. We'll just go up one. So I'm going to start with up one. I might color it darker later, but we'll see. Okay, that does not bother me at all. Let's simplify our lives and call it a day. So we are basically going to do a nice little oval. I'm gonna hold down Alt, do another little oval. I'm gonna line it up and then just drag that guy over. So it's a little bit, little different. Unite those. Let's just kind of shrink that up. Okay, stylized dog. It is done, file save. Done and done. So again, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we do quite a bit with uh, Illustrator tutorials and some cartooning. We are going to be adding some new playlists this school year. We're going to try and keep it a little bit simple, especially in the beginning as my students are learning them going through this. If you guys have some cool results, definitely subscribe. Definitely make sure you are letting me know. Uh, share those results with me. And then again, if you guys have any questions, definitely put those into the comments. I do read those. And uh, thank you for staying positive since my students do read those. Uh, it does mean a lot. So other than that, thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.